this is a package from Sky Sports, and you'll see why in a second. Shout out to Sky Sports. So, I had to do a claim with Vitarazzi. I made this claim on Sunday evening to my dealer. Said, hey, I think I need to do a warranty claim. Today is the following Saturday, and I have warranty parts in my hand right now. Goal today is to replace this thing and get back in the air as soon as I can. I got a little head and uh, started taking this thing apart before I thought about filming. So this is the part we have to replace today. Here's the cracks. Flip this around. You can see right here. It started to crack. I think it's like the spring pressure pulling on this and the metal's a little brittle so it cracked right there and eventually would have pulled this up and made a hole. Caught it on pre-flight. All right, so what I've done so far is I cut the um, steel cable that they had going through the spring here. And then to get the spring off, let me show you a quick tip. I had the Dudek wing bag here, and I pushed the string onto the hook of the spring like this. Push the string through, and then I just used the Dudek drawstring bag to pull this down, pop the spring off. Super easy. You could do it with one hand. All right, here we go. We got the uh, cracked one off. Drilled out the rivets. Um, normal issues for drilling out rivets. Nothing spectacular. You can see a hole in the exhaust there. That light shining through. So it was cracked all the way through. We got the new one here. <clears throat> Ready to go on. And then here is the exhaust, the packing looks okay. I'm not gonna replace it. I'm just gonna, re I cleaned it up a little bit. I'm gonna put new silicone on there, put the rivets in and put it back on. Should be good to go. Woo, all right, all done. Uh, so what we learned is that uh, these rivets that they sent in the box, anyway, they're right in here somewhere. These are steel rivets, so if you're doing this on your exhaust, make sure you replace them. Um, either buy these from Sky Sports or use steel ones from the store. But um, they are pretty tough to drill out, and then to pop them in, we had to use a pretty good quality rivet gun. And even still, we had to use so much force to pop those rivets that we put the rivet gun in the vise in order to have the strength to clamp it down and pop them on. So it was a slow process, but... We got it accomplished and then I just wiped up the excess silicone and it looks as good as the new one does now. Um, took us probably, I don't know, it took us maybe an hour of time working on this to complete it. All right, so I got the exhaust mounted on here. These bolts are still loose, so these aren't tightened all the way up. So there's still a little bit of play, okay. And this isn't lining up. I don't know if the holes were different and like where they're drilled. You see if I if I flex the rubber mounts, I can make it line up. And then also I can rotate this a little bit. But there's gonna be some tension on here. I don't know if that's right or not. All right, future Mitch here. Uh, so long story short, the exhaust didn't line up. Um, this part didn't line up uh, once I installed it on the pipe the first time. I contacted Sky Sports and I let them know, hey, I think there's a problem with the manufacturer defect with the holes not lining up and talked to their mechanic, Chris. He recommended that I just drill new holes so that it would line up. Very frustrating to have to do that. I really didn't want to open this thing again, drill holes, and then put it back together again um, because I had already spent so much time trying to fix it for uh, the exhaust cracking in the first place. But hey, if you want to fly, you got to be a paramotor mechanic. So that's what I did. And uh, now I'll show you some footage of that process. All right, yep. So. Working on getting these out now. Some of these I've already drilled. Just 
gonna need to punch these in now. Just like that. So I've drilled off the outer portion. Just kind of punch the rivet in like that. I'm gonna drill this one now. Get it close, then I'll just yeah put this. Almost. There you go. And then just punch it through. like that. All right, now the real fun part because this has fresh silicone on it from uh, just gluing this yesterday. Might be moving. Alright, yeah, so I'm just gonna work on trying to get this off now. Wish me luck. Alright, here we go. We got this off now. Just took a while tapping it off with the screwdriver and the hammer. This is the factory packing, by the way. It's a little offset. You can see there's more packing on this side compared to this side, but it's okay. So now I have to drill new holes in this piece so that it'll align correctly. So the one on the right is the cracked one, and the one on the left is the new one, and they're lined up, and you can see that the holes do not align. So I'm gonna try and get it as close as I can. I'll mark it with a marker and then drill new holes and then see where that gets us. All right, new holes drilled. I just marked them with a permanent marker and then worked my way all the way around. And uh, when I compare with the old one, if I line it up, it actually matches up pretty good. So now I'll try and put it back together. So I got it tapped on there, all the holes lined up, and this is a test fit. So now when I put these on there, look at the alignment now. That's how it should be. Wow. Viterazzi only missed the mark by a quarter to a half inch or something like that. Thanks for all the extra work. I'm a better mechanic because of you. All right, all done. This is what it looks like now. Got these extra holes drilled, but all the rivets are done. Let's uh, install it. Just so it doesn't fall off. And look at this. There you go. It actually lines up now. So I think I'm gonna put the springs on first before I torque those nuts down. So what a pain, but we're done. Let's go send it.